This time we are going to learn how to configure our new TP-Link router. This explanation applies to this router and any other similar router. This one has router mode, access point mode, repeater mode, and WIPS mode. In this video, we are going to learn how to use access point mode. So stay with us and let's get started. To begin, the first thing we are going to do is connect the power adapter so that it turns on only. And we are going to reset it to factory settings. For that, we are going to press the reset button for 10 seconds. We wait the lights change. And when the lights turn on and then off, that the reset has already been done. We wait a few seconds until it stabilizes again. Now we are going to start configuring our equipment as an access point. We already have it factory reset. We're going to connect to it. We're looking for it. In my case, it is this one that says TP link underscore zero EA2. I'm going to tell him to connect. If they ask you for the Wi Fi password, remember that it is on the label behind the device. If you can't see that default password on the device label, you need to connect it with a cable. Ready, connected, and secure. I'm now connected, but it's now in router mode, which is its default setting. I'm going to enter it. I'm going to use Ganjing browser, the default browser I have. I'm going to enter it. Enter with 192.168.0.1. And remember, you can also log in with tplnwifi.net, either of the two. The default password is admin, admin. It suggests me to save this password. I'm going to tell him no, because I'm going to change it later. And we go directly to where it says mode of operation. And now we tap on the option, access point. I'm going to give it, save, accept. And the equipment will restart to show us a slightly different menu, which is for the access point mode. Let's wait for several seconds for it to restart. Done, it has restarted. I'll try to connect again. It's connect. Ready, there it is already connected. It tells me that I have internet, but I still can't log in. Here it tells me to try to use it in another way, and here it doesn't let me. Okay, what's up? Now the computer has an IP address not managed by this equipment, but by the main router. And our equipment, which is now an access point, has an IP that was also assigned by the main router. So how are we going to know what that IP is? To know the IP of this computer, there are several ways. One of the ways, for example, is to go here to Network and Internet Settings, Advanced Network Settings, to the Network Card, View Additional Properties, and here I have the IP of this equipment. But what is the IP of the access point? Well, let's close this. One way to do this is to install a program that scans all the IP addresses and devices on your network. But you can also use the command prompt and enter this command. ARP space dash A. Enter, and it will give us all the IP addresses that are on this network. The first one corresponds to the main router. The others are the equipment connected to it. They may not seem like much now, but in this sea of IP addresses and physical addresses, which one is ours? It is very easy to know. Remember I told you once that my Wi-Fi name has 0E, A2 at the end? In this case, because they are the last four characters of the device's Mac. Let's look here and see that here it is. 0E, A2 meaning that the access point now within this network has the address ending in 1.103. Let's see if that's true. Now I put 192.168.1.103. Enter. Done. There it is. The password? Default. Admin. Admin, because I haven't changed it yet. If I want to save the password, I'm going to say cancel because I'm going to change it. Do you see that I now have a much smaller menu? Because as an access point, I have fewer options. Next option to configure. We go to network and we have two options. We have smart mode and fixed IP mode. Let's leave it as default. Now in wireless, 
we are going to give it a name. In this case, meet TP Link AP. Oh, don't select the region. I recommend choosing the United States. Save. What will happen here is while loading the new Wi Fi name. I'm going to be disconnected from Wi Fi because it's going to disappear. And the new Wi Fi will appear. It says here, Meet TP Link AP. I give it connect. It will ask me for the password. Since I haven't changed it, it will still request the default one printed on the label. Ready, now connected. Now I'll go to where it says, wireless security. And now I remove this default password and put one of my own. This could be an easy one. Let's say save. What's going to happen now is that I'm going to be disconnected again because the Wi-Fi changed its name. Let's see, here it disconnected. When I try to connect it will tell me that it will not be able to because the password that the computer has saved is not. Indeed, the password is another. 12345678. Next. Done. Status. I'm back online. Let's see if I can surf. I'm closing this tab. I'm going to open a new one. I'm going to give it the Ganjing World logo. Ganjing World is a video platform that I invite you to go and watch. Perfect. It loaded there. I have internet now. Well, folks, I hope you liked it and that it was useful to you. Put it into practice. Give me a like. Subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next video.